Hey, before we get into things, just wanted to show some love to all of y'all stuck in lockdown once again in Singapore. From Canada with love. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to Valley du Bras du Nord. Another day, another mountain, another waterfall. You know this place is legit because the last few miles are all dirt roads. This is a good place to hike, do some mountain biking, or rent a canoe and paddle down river. Just keep your distance, y'all. Wait, hold on. A traffic jam in the middle of the forest? What the hell is this? Oh, I see. It's for safe distance and crossing this bridge. Ah, okay, that's smart. And as much as I relish solo time spent in the forest, today I brought an old friend. This is Alex. Alex, meet the internet. Hey, everybody. So we're at the Vallée du Bras du Nord, which in English would translate as, uh, go ahead, give it a try. Uh, but Valley of the North Arm. So we've never been here, neither of us. So uh, yeah, we're taking the day to walk up to some waterfall, which I hope is cool, you know, kind of a waterfall snob over here. So 13 kilometers to go, and then we have to head back but this trail actually goes on for days. Today is just recon. Yeah. Making sure we survive. Yeah, we survive. Come on, man. There's no cobras in here. Worst thing is a black bear. Which, honestly, I could probably take on. You shoot for the legs, take him down. How to use Brazilian Jiu Jitsu against the bear. Step one, wait for the bear to attack and pass under. Step two, take its back, get a rear naked choke on. Step three, squeeze, and there you go. Snap out of it, you died at step one. No, but actually the, the real trick is, especially in these kind of slopes, you just go downhill. Bears are stupid, they've got shorter front legs than back legs, and they tumble. Don't, don't trust that advice. <laughs> Bears are not stupid. Listen, internet, here's the survival tip for the bear. You just push your friend forward and then take off. <laughs> that gives you a survivability factor of about 100%. Yeah, try to push the one that has the most meat. <laughs> well, yeah. Ouch. So, whenever you're walking in Canadian forest, especially here in Quebec, you might see these tubes hanging off the trees and you might wonder, what the hell is that? Is that a power cable? Is that sewer for squirrels? Nah, man. It's a, a system to collect the sap from maples. So this stuff all runs downstream, and eventually goes to a sugar shack, and uh, they boil it off. And that's how they make maple syrup, people. I bet at least one of you didn't know that. The first few miles of this trek follows the river closely, all the way up and around this small mountain in the background. And I gotta say, it is gorgeous. Spring is in the air, man, and we're in a good mood. Ow! <laughs> God damn it. All right, let's see what you got, man. Two! One more. Ah, well. And to anyone who might be watching this struggling right now, I dedicate this tree hug to you. Reach out to somebody, you'll get through it. Hard pivot here, but some say that Alex looks like Fred Durst. I don't know, man. You always look more like a young Sean Penn to me. Oscar winner right here. Going on the wall with uh, fake Jake Gyllenhaal. Look at this thing. Like it's, it's, it's almost paper at this point. It feels like cardboard. This is crazy. If you need kindling, that stuff will get you there. It's probably hard to tell with our pandemic dad bods right now, but Alex and I were once wrestlers. Best damn cruiserweight in all of Canada for a time. Ooh, what's this? Another dead standing? Oh man, I cannot resist. I gotta try and push it down into the river. Make way for the new, you know? Here we go. Ah! 
right, so sadly Simon had a little accident with the tree. He's kind of dead. So next week on Alex Says, I'll be doing some awesome drone shots of my friend's funerals. Stay tuned. The, the tree, the tree is dead. I'm fine. Look at that. All the leaves have sprouted. It's going to be a full canopy up there. Makes a Canadian want to jump for joy. <laughs> Nearly an hour into this trek now, and the current seems to be quickening. Black bear? What? Where? Oh, that's how it is, huh? Yeah, you take the lead, you backstabbing son of a bitch. This is a nice trail, man. I like it so far. The river, the birds, the passive-aggressive company, it's all great. <laughs> Finally, we come around the bend and follow a smaller stream uphill until we can lay eyes on her. And man, she does not disappoint. that is hard to convey is the verticality of this thing it's like we're at a very steep angle so it looks not that high but it's actually well I'll look it up like it's that's how high it is but it didn't look if you don't use your hands it's not climbing is it if any pro bono lawyers want to defend me with that argument friends for life with that, we're adding nine kilometers on top of the four we've already covered. This time, up the mountain. Let's get after it. So, all of these, 100% of these giant ass boulders, all fell from the cliff over there at some point, right? And they somehow put the path right in the middle of the danger zone. You don't want to be here when that stuff falls. Ooh, there was a step here, damn it. Just hit my shin on it. This is the den of a cougar. Wait, I gotta, I gotta check it out. Paw prints? Yeah, well, I don't know if it's a paw print. I guess that, that's a dog print, probably. It's pretty spacious. I mean, if it was not all muddy, Pretty cool though. You know how much it costs to do this in 3D for King Kong and other movies like this? Just, just gotta go come film here. It's King Kong looking already. Skull Island 2. Still got two kilometers to go. Come on. Pick it up. Come on. <sighs> Muddy, wet, disgusting, beautiful. Stop describing my ex. <laughs> And as we crest over the top, Alex points out a falcon flying in the thermals. There it is. Yeah. But where's the winter soldier, man? <laughs> Again, thank you to whoever made this. Or to their kids, because that's probably old. Yeah, boy. And while I'm taking my sweet, sweet time doing these time lapse, the Nordic skies decided now would be a great time to open up. It's raining again, folks. I wanted to swap this hoodie for my raincoat, which I brought with me today. But I left it in the car because I guess we were too eager to get an early start. 
that's fine, you know. I just have thousands of dollars in equipment in my backpack. If any of it breaks, hey, I get to upgrade, right? See? Positive and everything. Mine's way cooler now. It is much smaller for sure, but that leather lace, it still holds up. It's not that bad, it's not that bad. Just a little summer drizzle, which is cold as hell. It's all right. Oh yeah, you, you got hair. It's cool, it, it cools us down. Yeah, I don't think I've broken a sweat once since I got back to Canada. I've been sweating since we started. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. And we have reached the end of the trail for today. Nice spot to fly the drone, but yeah. Still a little bit of light drizzle though, so, you know, I'm kind of wary launching the drone out here. It is a beautiful spot though. Oh, what the hell, you only live once, right? Let's do this thing. Good luck, buddy. the boring bits this is the way down this is what we never show you thanks for watching y'all take care much love to you and i'll catch you down the trail so